Kansai PJ here, checking in. Um, behind me is the Saitama Super Arena. Uh, I just watched the Japan Open um, team competition uh, for figure skating. Uh, it was really good, I enjoyed it. Um, I got an Arena SS ticket, but it was a very good seat, I thought. Um, good performances all the way around. I was particularly impressed with uh, Miyahara. Uh, I think she's still a junior. But she outskated everybody except for Radjanova, and uh, I really was impressed with her. Um, the Europeans came in first place, uh, followed by Team North America, and finally uh, Team Japan. Um, but it was a good, uh, good performances all the way around. I didn't have a particular team I was rooting for because I have uh, favorites on all three teams, so um, I stayed relatively neutral. <laughs> Um, the Americans were, the North Americans, I should say, were winning uh, first half, and then uh, the Russian women, um, Radionova, and I, I don't know the other woman's name, Polly something, uh, but they were so impressive, they really uh, heightened up the score for Team Europe. Um, anyway, it was a good performance, uh, I enjoyed it. Um, I have an hour and a half before Carnival on Ice later tonight. So I'm going to go uh, find a dinner and come back to the arena this evening. Uh, oh, one, one more thing. I, I've got a bit of a quandary. I'm sorry. Bit of a quandary here. Um, for the second show tonight, well, this was a competition, but for the show tonight, Carnival on Ice, I have two tickets. <laughs> Don't ask why. Um, and this is the quandary. The third class ticket is center line, uh, wonderful view, high up, but really good view. I can see everything. Um, the first class ticket that I got, uh, I bought on Yahoo Auctions uh, for half price. Um, it's in a corner, it's not the best view, but it's really close to the ice. I'm like four rows away from the ice. So I have, during dinner, I'm gonna have to debate whether I sit close with a poor view but feel the ice kind of thing, or be up higher where I have a better view. I don't know. <laughs> First world problems, I guess. Anyway, uh, Kansai PJ checking out from Saitama. See you later. Kansai PJ here. Sunday night, and I'm back from uh, Saitama. Um, Carnival on Ice was wonderful. Um, I think in the video before, uh, I mentioned I had a choice between two seats. A better view farther away, which was a third class seat, or a, a first class arena, uh, premium seat, uh, but it was in the corner and, and didn't have the best view, uh, particularly of, of, of a very small sliver of the far side of the rink. I went ahead and sat in the premium seat, and I'm so glad that I did. I was three seats away from the ice, uh, but more importantly, I was right next to the landing where the skaters would come in and off the ice. Um, and normally that's covered for most shows, but possibly because of the uh, sporting event earlier in the day, the Japan Open, it was not covered. So I got to see skaters come out from uh, backstage, um, try on small costume changes like hats and coats and things, and see them interacting with each other before and after they got off the ice. And that was a, a rare privilege. I've never seen them up close for that long a period before, which is very cool. Notice this? Uh, I think I, I think I might have, uh, I don't know. I'm using a, a new razor. I think it's rubbing me the wrong way. <laughs> I get it. Anyway, I didn't shave here today. Eh, whatever, you know. Anyway, I'm sorry, off topic. Uh, anyway, Carnival Ice, uh, of Ice, Carnival on Ice was amazing. Um, in addition to the skaters from the Japan Open, um, Tatsuki Machida, uh, Akiko Suzuki, uh, Plushenko, um, Charlie uh, White, Merrill Davis. Um, it was a much fuller group, uh, and it was a really nice show. It was a short show, only 90 minutes, but since most of the skaters have been skating all day, you can understand that. Um, but it was a really good show, and like I said, I, where I was sitting was really cool. Um, a couple of uh, celebrities were sitting near me. Uh, Plushenko himself, Evgeny Plushenko. Uh, was sitting only a few seats from where I was. He was only in part of the 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 the, the uh, second part of the show because of a back injury. He minimizes time on on ice, uh, but he sat very close to me. Um, 
as did a Japanese skater whose name I can't remember off the momentarily. He's, uh, anyway, he was big a few years ago, uh, and he sat next to me, not next to me, but a few seats from me. And there was someone from uh, a Japanese comedian from uh, a Manzai group. Um, I don't know his name either, but I've seen him on TV, and uh, he was there. So that was kind of cool. Um, but I said I was just a couple of two, maybe three meters away from people like uh, Mats, uh, 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 Machida, um, who's probably one of my favorites, um, Murakami-san. She's amazing. Um, Akiko is always great. Um, and, you know, I wanted to mention very briefly about um, maybe some... I misspoke in the earlier um, uh, video about uh, the Japan Open. I think I might have said the American team. I should have said the North American team. Uh, the skaters were, the North American team, the skaters were uh, Patrick Chan, Jeffrey Bottle, both of whom I uh, adore, uh, Ashley Wagner, and Mirai Nagasu. Um, great team. I like them all, uh, particularly Wagner and um, Bottle. They're my favorites of that group, but still, solid group. The European team was uh, Javi Fernandez. Uh, who is one of my all-time favorite skaters, uh, Thomas Vernier, and um, two Russian uh, skaters whom I wasn't very familiar with. Oops, sorry about that email. <laughs> um, do you hear that bing, bing, bing? And my, my two computers and my uh, iPad and phone all go off at the same time. Anyway, it's chaos! It's chaos! Um, the two Russian skaters, I knew the younger one, Radionova, I'd seen her on TV. Uh, and I, she's an amazing skater, had the highest score of the night. She's a little bit frenetic or frantic, um, but she's a, a real talent. And the other skater, what was her name? I'm trying to think for a second. Pogorilaya. Um, I'd never heard of her before, but uh, she did an impressive job. Um, uh, next to them, the, the best skate of the, of the morning was probably um, Satoko Miyahara, who I said was a junior, but I was wrong. She is now a senior. She's moving up this season. And she was impressive. Uh, I argue probably she was the best skate of the day, but the judges say Rajinova was better. But still, it was very close. Both of them were amazing. And uh, because of the strength of the Russian skaters, the European team came in first, the North American team came in second, and the Japanese team, which was uh, uh, Mura, um, Kozuka, Murakami, and Miyahara, uh, all of whom I like, but uh, particularly I'm interested in uh, Kozuka and Murakami. Those are my two favorites on the Japanese team. So again, I didn't root for one team because um, I had favorites on all, but the morning was great, um, and the evening show was uh, fantastic. Um, after the show, I should have done this video, but I, I went back, checked into my hotel in Tokyo, and then found a really nice kind of out-of-the-way bar that served uh, Belgian beer and uh, Spanish, Italian, and French, you know, hors d'oeuvres, tapas, otsumami. Uh, it was really good, and I stayed out until the wee hours of the morning. Um, I did some geocaching on my way back to the hotel. I got two. Yay. See, <laughs> Kansai. Anyway, and I was going to do some more geocaching uh, Sunday morning, but there was a, a separate weather system, not related to the typhoon, that was raining quite heavily in Tokyo, so I came back in the early afternoon. So I've been back in Osaka since, I don't know, three? Anyway, it was a really good trip up to Saitama. Uh, saw two shows in one day, which is amazing. Um, some great skaters, and it's good to get out of Kansai once in a while and stretch my legs, as it were. Um, I'm hoping tomorrow that we have uh, at least the morning, if not the full day off, of the typhoon. Um, I'm not hoping for a typhoon. That sounds bad. Typhoons are dangerous. But um, Osaka, I'm, you know, I live in an apartment building in the middle of the city, so I'm as safe as you're going to get. And uh, it would be nice to have the morning off because I didn't get a lot of studying done for my grad program. Uh, I've got a paper, not a paper, but a project due coming up real soon. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I had a wonderful time, and to show you, I'm going to, uh, on the other side of this, put up some slides uh, that I took from my trip up, and because they're real strict here in Japan about not taking pictures during um, skating events, um, I don't have any actual pictures of the skaters. However, I got a couple of things that were um, on uh, Google Image, just to sh show you some of the people who were there. Anyway, um, Kansai PJ, checking out, uh, videos coming soon. I'm going to be talking about... 
uh, grad school and uh, university teaching a little bit, and I still have to do a geocaching uh, vid coming up. Anyway, PJ out of here. See you later.